eFormIO SDK provides a way to communicate and work with eFormIO APIs within your application. The SDK comes bundled with the open source Formio.js library available on the Formio GitHub page. There are two different ways to integrate the SDK into your application, importing into your application using terminal commands, or including a script tag within your application code. This video we use the script tag method covering different SDK examples and use cases. I'll be using a JS fiddle for demonstration purposes in place of an application. All of the context and examples shown in this video can be found at the Formio help page, which is linked in the description of this video. During this tutorial, we are going to be navigating between these three windows, the SDK documentation page, JS Fiddle we are using for application, and my Formio project. To get started, the first thing we need to do is ensure the CDN script tag is integrated within the HTML of our application, which includes the SDK. I'm just going to grab the CDN endpoint here and plug that into my resources of my JS Fiddle. For the first couple of examples, we will be utilizing the form API scope of the SDK. We'll run a load form API command, which will output the JSON of a specific form within the console log of our application. Again, all of the examples covered in this video will come straight from the JavaScript SDK documentation found at help.form.io. Every SDK snippet will start with this form.io variable. So we'll plug this into the JavaScript of our application. And I'll grab my form endpoint for my project. We'll use this test one form here. Grab the embed URL from the form. It is important to note that I am utilizing the Formio SAS portal. If you are running the SDK on a deployed portal, you must include the base URL and project URL when running the API calls. Now, documentation could be found within the static method section of the SDK documentation. We will cover some of the examples um, using a deployed environment later on in this video. All right, back to our JS Fiddle. I'll plug in my form endpoint. Now we'll grab the API command to load the form JSON within the console log. Plug that in and we'll run our fiddle. We should have the form JSON here. Keep in mind I am unauthenticated, but since the anonymous role is set to the read form definition of the form, I'm able to read the form JSON without an auth token. Next, we're going to run an example within the form API scope that will load all the submissions of the form and output it to the console log of our app. If I go back over to my project, look at my forms data tab, I can see I have three submissions here. Let me go over to our SDK documentation. And we'll look at the form API scope and load submissions. Copy that over. And we can apply some parameters here, but we're going to run this without a parameter for now. Clear our console and click run. And here we can see our submissions. Test data two, test data three, and test data one. Next, we'll run a submission API scope example to view a specific record using the ID of one of the form submissions. Go over to the submission API scope load submission, 
we'll copy this over. Back to my project here, I'm going to view one of the submissions within our form, and I'm going to copy this submission endpoint within my URL. Plug that in here. Run the fiddle. And my console log did not output the submission JSON. Keep in mind we are in the submission API scope, and I don't have anything configured yet for my submission data permission. I could add the anonymous role to the read all permission here. Instead, I'm going to add authenticated, and we're going to utilize a JWT token to grant permission for the API call. Back over to our example page under the static method formula get token, or sorry, set token. I'm going to copy this over. I'm going to plug that in right there. I'm just going to use my Formio JWT token since that carries the authenticated role. I can do that by inspecting my console. Going to application, session storage. Or actually local storage. And then we're going to grab this Formio token here. And we're going to plug that in inside quotes. And I'm going to run this again. Here we are. Since I'm authenticated now with the JWT token, I can see the submission JSON of test data one. For the last two examples, we are going to use a deployed environment to load all forms within a project and then load forms that carry a specific form tag. Here I have my deployed environment, so I'm going to modify my JS Fiddle to support the new endpoint. Grab my project endpoint, plug that in here. Navigate to the project API scope section within the help docs. And copy the load forms example. Plug that into our JS Fiddle. As a reminder, if you are running these commands using a deployed portal, you will need to add the base URL and project URL found within the static methods section of the docs. Plug the base URL in and project URL, and then we're going to copy our project endpoint. Right, run the command and we should see all forms within our project output to the console log of our application keep in mind you may have to set a JWT token depending on your project level permissions last example that should be helpful is searching forms that carry a specific form tag Back over to my project, I have an application form here, and within the form settings, I have this user form tag saved to the form. That same tag is saved to the leave request and expense report forms. And we can search for these tags by modifying the parameters of our load forms command. So I can add tags underscore underscore n in quotes column. Within quotes we can search for the tag and we're going to clear our console, click run, and we should have an output of those forms carrying the user form tag. For a full list of SDK API calls, visit the help documentation at help.form.io. Thanks for watching.